Hello, this is Kyron Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have the Hierophant here, or the Hierarchy. Okay. These are gods. I'm just saying. We have Resurrection here. Mm. We have the Star. Okay, this is already starting out great. And at the bottom, we have the Hermit. Okay, it definitely looks some um, looks like somebody is on a path here. They are definitely being guided by spirit guides. They are definitely being guided by a higher power. Okay, it looks like they are on their way to crossing over in some kind of way. Like shifting, it's going to be a shift of reality for somebody. Okay, this is definitely a chosen one here. They may be figuring out, they may be finding the pieces. You may be finding the pieces of yourself, okay? The, how can I say, the fragmented pieces. You may be finding these pieces of yourself and identifying yourself and bringing out what it is that makes you special, okay? I feel like somebody is being guided by a higher power here, a higher force. Hmm... We have Virgo energy here. We got Taurus energy here. Um, I see Mercury here, so we got Gemini. We have Capricorn here. I see Mars, so I know we have Aries. We have Scorpio. We have Libra, okay? Page of Pentacles here. It's like somebody is at the beginning of manifesting something here manifesting this or finding like i said finding pieces of themselves okay i feel like somebody is at the beginning of some type of opportunity here somebody has been given like a golden ticket okay to get on some type of journey like i feel like somebody is stepping on a hidden path because the hierarchy came out here first this is not a path seen by the normal eye okay this is a very high level how can I say? This is a very high level reading. This is not a down to earth kind of thing that I'm talking about. Somebody is tapping into a higher frequency here. Somebody is being led, okay, by a higher power. It's as if right now somebody has like a mask on, but it's not because you put the mask on. It's because the higher ups are concealing you okay they're concealing you until you get to that stage or that place okay where you can be identified okay but I definitely feel like this is the beginning of somebody like focusing on something like focusing on their success here nine of wands energy this is a lot of energy somebody is putting into this new beginning or it's a lot of energy somebody needs to put into this. Like what you put into it is what you're going to get out. Okay? This is like a, this is a spiritual strength also. Like somebody needs to tap into their spiritual strength or something with spirituality here. Okay? I feel like this is a test. Like this is one of the last tests because this is a nine of wands. I feel like this is a very high level test here. Like somebody has been given a golden ticket to go on a special path, a path that is only seen or understood by somebody that has, it's like certain things only unlock within you when you do the work. Like, how can I say, sometimes you may learn things about spirituality, right? You might learn things about spirituality and maybe it doesn't click 100%. Maybe you don't get it right now. 
But the fact that you learned it and you learned some type of material, you are you are putting things in place for it to click. So when it clicks, you're gonna be like, oh, it's gonna be like everything connects. Like you have a lot of dots, dot, 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 all these dots, but there is no connectors. There's no things that actually connect the dots. You know what I'm saying? I feel like somebody is doing that, okay? We have the Six of Wands here, okay? This is victory here. This is somebody being recognized here, okay? I feel like whatever somebody is doing right now, this is not easy because, like I said, this is a very high-level path. So you will definitely be tested, okay? This is only the beginning here, and it is not easy. This is, this is like going into the beginning at, like, full speed. Damn near full speed. Like, somebody needs to put their blood, sweat, and tears into this shit because they're headed towards being chosen. They're headed towards being exalted. It's just that they have to find themselves. They have to find the beauty. They have to find the light. And this is hermit energy. The reason why the hermit energy needs that solitude, because they have to, they can't be listening to the left and the right. That has to, that, it has to be silent. Somebody has to find the strength within. Somebody has to find that power within, that God within. Okay? And somebody's at the beginning stages of that. Like finding that self-confidence. Ace of Cups here. You see, this is a promise here. This is a promise here from Spirit. Okay? Ace of Cups touching resurrection and star. This is who your soul is. This is where somebody is headed. But you are just in the phase where you have to be alone. You have to be alone. You cannot... Oh my goodness. This is vital to somebody's growth. This solitude. This is what's going to help you find your inner voice. Your inner wisdom. Okay? This is what's going to help you connect to... It's like, let's say you have a twin spirit, okay? The twin spirit knows exactly who they are. They know their whole existence. They know how old their soul is. They know everything. You're connecting with that, okay? And you're being led. Oh, shit. You got the world card here. <sighs> My goodness. Now, the way that I'm seeing it, because I dropped everything, but I held on to that world card, but it's coming out here in reverse, though. Okay, this is the energy of somebody needs some type of closure. I don't almost dropped every one of these cards here. Hold up, what is this? We got the four of cups. You see how this, how spirit lays things out? Somebody needs that meditation. Somebody needs to be disconnected from the world. Okay, somebody needs to be cut free. Okay. Like, somebody needs to know there is no shortcuts to this. There is no shortcuts. When it's time for you to be aware of certain things, you will be aware of certain things. Okay? It's like something is coming together, but it's not there yet. It has not been completed. Somebody has to know. Another thing I'm noticing is that this hermit is right over this world card in reverse and this four of cups. This is who is on the journey. The hermit energy is on the journey here. Okay? Finding the beauty within themselves. Finding their own voice. This is the moment where you find your voice so that when you hear other people, you know that's not you. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you get spiritual gifts, you must know where your center is or you will literally go crazy because you will not know what message is from where. And what means what? You will not... Somebody here... And that's why it's important right now for somebody to be alone and in order to understand how to connect certain dots. Because when you get released into this world, okay, this is not the time to be learning that shit. That's... You're going to get torn to pieces. If you don't follow what God... How God is leading you right now, like somebody needs to be content with lonely. Somebody needs to be content with... Let's say being bored, not seeing the bigger picture. Somebody needs to be content with the fact that they haven't found the light yet, not the complete light. Somebody somebody needs to know that there is more to your life 
than where you are right now. There's way more to it. Okay? Let me pick these up. Like it's not finished yet. There's still things that do need to be closed out. Okay? Like somebody has to come out of this test victorious. When they come out of this test victorious and they connect the dots and they get their spiritual strength. Because that's really what this is about. Somebody is finding their spiritual strength. If You must find your spiritual strength. You must find it. Okay? Until you find it, you will have this messenger or this, this God that is leading you. Or this angel that is leading you. Spirit guide. You will always have them leading you. But when you actually wake up to the things and everything clicks, because you can't make it click. You can push as much as you want. You can learn as much as you want. But when it's meant to click, that's when it's going to click for somebody. Okay? No sooner. You got justice here. Okay? Somebody is going to make it out here. Somebody is going to balance here. This is Libra energy here. Somebody is going to make it out. It's also the first major arcana to come out here in this deck. Somebody's definitely going to make it out. Somebody needs to find their moral compass here. We got the Page of Wands energy. Okay. It's like somebody just needs to find the authority within themselves. You have the authority on the outside of you right now leading you. Let's say it like that. But the authority is going to become you. And until you actually take control of it until you take authority over your path which will not it can't be right now right now you need to listen to what you're being shown or right now you need to be led that's what's going on right now but you will know when you are free you will know when you have found what you were looking for it will all click is what i'm trying to say you will know it will not be something that you're forcing it to be known or you're putting it in your brain. It'll be something that it'll hit you like, like a damn epiphany. And it'll be like one of those aha moments. Like seriously though. Not a fake one. Because you can't fake it. You have the Eight of Cups energy. Okay. There's things that are being left behind here. There's an adventure that must be had. There's a transition that is going on with somebody's relationship. Somebody is leaving everything that they loved behind. Or everything they thought they loved. Okay, these things have dried up pretty much. Okay, this is not, it's not good for somebody's life. It doesn't keep somebody balanced here. Somebody needs to go on this adventure. Somebody needs to have faith that there is more to life. And that's what God is trying to show somebody. Okay, that is what spirit is trying to show somebody. You got the five of wands here. There will definitely be challenges here. Like, I don't see nothing easy with this. I see that somebody's going to have something beautiful and they're going to have a beautiful future. But I don't see it being easy getting there, though. I see that somebody is definitely at the beginning here. And they need to be comfortable where they are. They need to be comfortable with the fact that certain things have not closed out. It's not the end of a cycle. Somebody here is in the middle of a cycle. Okay? In the middle of closing things out. Like, everything has not, it's like, how can I say, everything is not solid yet, okay? Somebody has only gotten to the middle ground, okay? But they're headed towards higher than that. You got the Six of Swords here, moving on here, blocking people off, putting your wall up here, okay? Also releasing baggage, like walking away from all of the, the competition and rivalry and all of, it's like somebody walking away from all the things that they thought mattered these things don't matter if God is telling you I have a way for you that's the way you go you don't go the way you think it's going to be that's why somebody needs to tap in that's why somebody needs to be in solitude that's why somebody needs to start listening okay to themselves they need to they, Somebody needs to even start meditating. Like, I mean, this is really, really serious. This is like the energy. Let's say you have a dream of being, I don't know, a painter, okay? You have a dream of being a painter. 
and you think that there's only one way to get to this and God is showing you another way. Now, this is just an example. There's a lot of things that people like to do, but my example means, you know what I'm saying? It's not a straight road. Sometimes you have to, it's not even a detour. It's like sometimes you think that it's supposed to be a straight road, but God says, no, you got to make a turn here. If you choose to go your way, you will not make it out of the darkness. You have to keep moving forward with what God is putting in front of you. Okay. You know, like this is even the energy, like, you know, people want to go their own way, even though let's say you have obligations, which are a sign that you're supposed to be going this way, but you, you even drop all of that and you keep doing what you want to do. You have to go the way that God is pushing you. You cannot, it's not the least resistant. Like, like even people that want to rap, people want to sing. They think it's always just straight to the studio, straight to this, straight to that. Sometimes it's not like that at all. Sometimes people didn't even plan on being a singer and they turn out to be a singer. Okay. Sometimes people be working at a restaurant and then they turn out to be a model because somebody saw them. You get what I'm saying? But had you not got that job at that restaurant, the place you didn't want to work at. Okay. It's like somebody needs to pay attention to where they're being led because it's leading you correctly. What we think is incorrect. Spirit can see everything. Spirit knows everything. You don't need to question spirit about certain things. If spirit is leading you a certain type of way, you will know. Because a lot of times it's going to be a little uncomfortable. Okay? Because that's how you know you're growing. You have the lover's card underneath the six of wands here. Okay? I'm definitely seeing somebody making better choices. Okay, where they were not making good choices, somebody is making way better choices. Somebody has left, uh, I don't even know what this is. I don't know if this is disagreement. I don't know if this is some type of tension or something like that. They're leaving all that behind. Like somebody doesn't need that. Like this is like, I feel like it's that rat race. Like somebody used to think that if I'm not part of the rat race, then I'm not going to make it. And that's untrue. Sometimes you can make it right out, right out the dark. You know what I'm saying? If you follow God and you go where God is telling you to go, okay, <laughs> amazing things will happen in other ways than you thought possible because we don't know everything. Somebody just needs to listen. What if somebody's meant to be like an actor or something like that and you done went to medical school, you know, thinking that, you know, you, I got to get a job. I got to do this, got to do that, which is all good. You got you a job and everything, but then you're really supposed to be an actor and then you get that opportunity and little do you know, hey, you're probably playing a damn doctor or something like that. It's like you don't know how God and spirit wants to prepare you. You don't know what the road looks like. You don't know the directions. OK, but if you listen to this world tell you that you have to be part of the rat race in order to make it or you got to get, you know, something done to your body or your face, look, do what you want to do. But if you're listening to the world and that's the reason why you're doing things, then you're doing it all wrong. Okay. We have the four of swords underneath the ace of cups here. This, like I said before, this is a promise here. This is like somebody is just planning for the future. Somebody is just somebody needs to be at rest with this somebody needs to know that you will shine one day your soul will shine one day okay you will understand one day all of these things will come when they're meant to come but it's like you cannot force it it feels like something is lying dormant like something is just waiting to be understood by your soul but you have to do the work you cannot and that's a confirmation you cannot live in this existence and not do the work and think you understand something you do not understand anything if you do not do the work to understand it you cannot understand somebody else's situation you ain't never been in okay you can have sympathy but you can't have empathy i'm just saying somebody here needs to live it in order to understand you can't just pop up as a star you need the experience you need to know how to work with life and work with people and you need to understand spirit and you need to understand yourself you need to understand a lot of different things before you are exalted 
okay? Before God says, that's my child. You get what I'm saying? Before God puts you on your mission. The star has a mission here. Okay? And don't you want to be prepared? Don't you want to have all of your, you know, whatever you need on your mission? Your, your quote-unquote weapons? Don't you want to have your sword? Don't you want to have your power? Don't you want to understand on a higher level before you get released into the world? You got the Ten of Cups underneath the Justice. Okay? I feel like once somebody is balanced out, I feel like they will have the power of their ancestors. They will be fulfilled in life once they balance. It's like something that has to be balanced, okay? And I really feel like it's somebody's vision. It's somebody's how they look at this world, how they look at life, okay? And this rat race, okay? Somebody needs to change their entire perspective. Somebody is being trained, okay, for a mission. It's very, very serious somebody pay attention and stop worrying about fame or stop worrying about making it to the top. Stop worrying about what people think. Stop worrying about what it looks like right now because God can make anything happen. You got the King of Pentacles underneath the Page of Wands. I'm trying to tell you, your money is not going to come from, like, busting your ass. That's not necessarily what it is. Your money is going to come from you learning what you needed to learn. Like, it's crazy how it's connected, okay? Yes, you do have to work hard. But what, the reason why you're going to get your abundance is because you would have aligned with who you are because everybody's somebody you may not know who you are but everybody's somebody and you have to be led by spirit you cannot let the world tell you who you are you cannot look out into the world and be like "Ooh, i want that i'm gonna da, 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 da. you can't you have to go with who you are you have to be led by spirit you cannot have no fear or you will not make it to the mission okay We have the Seven of Wands here underneath the Eight of Cups. <sighs> this is giving me the energy of the past will be far away from you. Like before you know it, the past will definitely be the past. Everything that you walked away from, you will understand why you had to walk away from it. It will make complete sense why you had to walk away there's certain things that cannot be in your energy when you get to this level also like there's certain things that have to be cleansed from your energy and cleansing something from your energy it takes longer than a day like let's be serious you know somebody has to cleanse something from their spirit but they're going to understand later it's a lot of things that i feel like some somebody doesn't like they're not grasping it right now they feel like they're up in the air they, f they probably feel a little lost, okay? But somebody here has to listen to God, listen to spirit, okay? Stay on the path, okay? That you're meant to, that you're being told to or being pushed onto, you will know where you're supposed to go because everything around you will be falling apart. It will be time to make a move, okay? And when it's time to do that, Spirit is going to lead you, but you just got to pay attention. You got to be patient. You got to stay open, okay? You might even need to develop some type of meditation, develop some type of prayer, prayer method, learn prayers, okay? With this hermit energy here, solitude. Let me get an angel message here. We have intuition and downloads just listening okay just listening at the bottom you have guardian angel so it's just listen you're being guided here you're being guided all you have to do is listen don't worry about the future don't worry about when you're going to get there how you're going to get there spirit will lead you and this is the moment where you learn how to pay attention you learn how to listen you learn how to be in tune with spirit you learn how to be in tune with nature 
this is what you're being asked to do right now. You must know how to do this. This is spirituality 101, okay? This is, you know, the God path 101. You can't be released out into the world until you understand your spirit, your soul, okay? Your center. And I'm going to leave it right there. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. I really, really appreciate it because it's how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective. I love you guys, and I'll be back with another reading later. Bye.